Does everybody good? So please note the plaque that we have up here. It's a very important plaque that uh, Autumn and her crew added this week. And that's what we're all about tonight. Uh, when the board of directors learned of Jeff Clapper's passing, there was almost an immediate call to name this barn uh, in Jeff's name. Jeff was here at ACLT whenever you needed him. Kindly, methodically, Jeff always knew what needed to be done. Jeff had a very rational mind and wished for the world to behave the same way. He could understand and appreciate shop manuals. He knew that maintenance was a very important part of stewardship. So he lovingly cared for the John Deere and for the Kubota and for all kinds of things here at ACLT. Maintenance, repair, removal of invasive species, trail cleaning, Jeff was here. He had a childlike, childlike fascination for nature and history, always wanting to know more. When Chesapeake Conservation Corps intern Taylor Oswald wanted to do a macro invertebrate study, Jeff loaned his microscope, and he wanted to help with that project too. When intern Mike Molina wanted to conduct fish surveys, Jeff was there every time in the water, up to his waist in the mud. When ACLT purchased Holly Hill, he and Carl, in the back there, were the first to be checking and documenting the historic log barn. He was proud of the work that he did in starting Double Oak Farm. And a couple weeks before his passing, he and I talked about it. And he told me about uh, the farm. He said, I was given the job to, go, to grow food, and by God, I did. <laughs> he had quite the following at the farm CSA and built strong friendships for himself and for ACLT. I was just talking to Pat Griffin about that um, earlier today, and the, the nucleus of the team that made this thing start. And then, when we had a farm, we needed a barn. <laughs> and uh, Jeff was part of that too. He was there working the whole time, along with a number of, the, of others who are here, to make this fantastic barn. And if you haven't had the chance to really take a look at it, it is a work of art. He said that he did not try to play a leadership role here with the barn, but he was there to be sure that things went in the right direction, just like you would think Jeff would want. He and his pal, Kevin Donahue, is Kevin here? Not. Kevin would be here if he could, were the only one who could bear the physical strain of working for Autumn on Wednesdays <laughs> and Thursdays. <laughs> There was a great deal of, a, of mutual respect between him and Autumn. So on that note, let me turn it over to his Ooh. good friend, Autumn Phillips Lewis, land manager here at ACLT. It wobbles a little bit. <laughs> uh, so it's hard to know where to start when you're trying to pay tribute to the life of someone like Jeff Clapper. But I thought I would start with a story about one of my favorite conversations that I had with him. Jeff and I were in the middle of doing trail work one Wednesday morning when Jeff started a seemingly random conversation about a famous cartoon character named Schmidt. <laughs> in typical Jeff fashion, he gave me the background of the fictional cartoon Lil Abner and about characters in the cartoon called Schmidt. I must admit, I remember thinking, where on earth is Jeff going with this strange story? <laughs> Jeff concluded by telling me that the author of the comic strip, Al Cap, eventually ditched his schmoo characters and afterwards never had another comic that was quite as popular or as influential as, Schmoo, as his schmoo characters. According to Jeff, Cap was quoted in an interview lamenting that there will never be another schmoo. 
Jeff said, that's how I think of you as the ACL team lead manager. You are the schmoo, and there will never be another schmoo. <laughs> took me off guard because until he said it, I had no idea where his story was heading. <laughs> and now the Wednesday Woodworkers and the Thursday Trail Adventure volunteers know that Jeff probably only took a long time telling me this long, drawn out story to get a break from doing strenuous trail work. <laughs> but of course, I always remembered it. Partially because Jeff was the kind of person whose opinion was valued. When Jeff spoke, people listened. And if he thought enough of you to pay you a compliment, then it really made you feel good. But mostly I like to think about this conversation with Jeff because it's clear his sentiment more accurately describes him and his impact on ACLT. ACLT has so many talented and generous volunteers, but perhaps none more so than Jeff. Everywhere we look, in all directions, we see the contribution of Jeff's talent to ACLT. He started Double Oak Farm and was integral to building this barn he created the donation post and faithfully mowed the fields on his beloved John Deere tractor, now affectionately known as Clapper's Tractor. He came every Wednesday and Thursday morning to clear down trees, remove invasive species, build boardwalks or side ledge trails. He made repairs to the doctor's office at Warrior's Rest and helped stabilize the Holly Hill Barn. He was on the land management committee, the Holly Hill Barn and Meadows subcommittees. He kept all the equipment running to make all of these projects happen. <laughs> and he always made sure all the gas cans were filled and the trash were taken, was taken out, because Jeff knew how important the small things were. His quick wit kept us all entertained and on our toes, and his attention to detail meant that at least one person would always notice what color I painted my nails every week. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff was a true jack of all trades, and his contributions to ACLT are too many to count. It is still hard to believe that he will never again come sit in my office and teach me something new or tell me about his next big project idea. To me, Jeff was the true schmoo, and there will never be another schmoo. So is there anybody else who would like to say a word? I'd like to say thank you to the ACLT for giving so much to Jeff during the many days that he worked here and gave of himself. He loved it, and he loved you guys, and thank you. <laughs> That's about it for me. <laughs> so I said, I go up one, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, on the, on the son. The son. On Jeff's uh, younger son. And, uh, so I should have opened this before a cheater's on. So right before he, uh, he passed, he had jotted a few things down. And uh, let's see here. Let's see. Uh, uh, and he wrote this to uh, my sister. Uh, he said, because uh, he wasn't a big church going guy but he wrote God is nature he's there in all forms you just have to look I love the ACLT because when I go there I see more than trees I see the details and I feel the things I don't feel anywhere else and I see the beauty in this detail it is my church that I helped build and so that's how I felt about this it was really important to him and during the last couple of days, he wanted to talk to one person the most, and that was Greg. And, uh, and I, I'm glad I finally get to meet him in person. And I thank all of you because uh, I hear stories and I see things, and I see my dad here, and it means a lot. So thank you ever so much for showing up. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Matt.
have a fantastic resemblance to Snoop. <laughs> and, uh, when my sister-in-law comes from upstate New York, she has a wonderful garden up there at uh, Cornell. Rice of Thanksgiving with tons of butternut squash. And with a felt tip, I can't, stop, I can't resist putting things on it. So I suggest that in the future, think about growing butternut squashes with the idea that they are kind of the vegetable version of snooze. Dedication. <laughs> 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 leave that thought with you. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. You know, ACLT is. Yes. Yeah. Just to say, uh, Jeff's been very active here, but he was very active with Calvert County and a citizen extraordinaire. I don't know how many letters to the editor he wrote over the years. They were beautiful, they were pointed, and I think he's made as big a contribution to our whole county as he has to ACLT. Thank you, Randy. Well, needless to say, there is a very close network of friends here at ACLT, and we obviously all love them. And we didn't even, we didn't advertise this to the whole ACLT because we didn't want too big of a crowd. We, we wanted this to be a safe place. But there would have been a lot more people here and a lot more friends. Um, thank you for sharing him <laughs> uh, with ACLT. Uh, we know that uh, he was gone a few times <laughs> because he was here. Uh, but it was a great, uh, I think it was, I hope it was a situation of mutual benefit. It certainly was on our end. And all of us here are grateful for it. So thank you and thanks everybody for being here today to, for this dedication. Thank you, Greg. Would somebody read me the plaque? I'll be happy to, while well, maybe Autumn gives you some flowers that came off of this farm. <laughs> These are from the flower girls on the farm, so I'll just, I don't know where you want them, but I can put them down here if you'd like. So, it reads, this barn is dedicated. Are they from here? Yes. Yeah, they're from the garden right here. Oh. Our flower girls cut them and prepared that for Jeff. Oh, for you. that's a beautiful <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Jeff would be so proud. <laughs> And the plaque says, this barn is dedicated to Jeff Clapper, an extraordinary ACLT friend and volunteer, and a strong land conservation advocate who devoted years of service to projects such as establishing Double Oak Farm, repairing equipment, maintaining trails, and building this very barn. His legacy lives on through the long-lasting impact he made here, and ACLT will be forever grateful for his service. Thank you.